Welcome back to the Agora studio. And uh, as our special guest now, we're fortunate, fortunate enough to have uh, UK uh, gundog specialist and judge Frank Kane in our studio. Welcome. My pleasure. We're about to see the group, ju the group judging right uh, in a few moments. Um, from a judge's perspective, uh, what goes on in the group judging room? Well, the judge will have a lot of diverse breeds to look at. Mm. He will be looking for the one which, in his opinion, is closest to perfection for its breed. Mm. So what we'll see on the screen comes after a pre-judging session in a ring outside. He'll have had a more detailed look at the best of breed winners. He'll have a short list in his mind. He'll see that they perform well when they come into the big stadium, mm -hmm. which is a test for dog's temperament. Mm -hmm. And then he'll make a shortcut and choose the one which he thinks is the best. But how on earth do you determine which one is the best when they're all supposed to be excellent? Well, yes, by the time we get to this level, the best of breeds should mean just that they are best of their breeds. But this is where showmanship, movement, and ring presence come into it. And that, those things, this will, will to win mm. makes the difference between a good dog and a great dog. The judge will be looking for the wow factor. In the, in the later years we have heard a lot of talk about fit for function as a kind of slogan for dog showing. Uh, what's your opinion on that? Well, years ago in the history of the breeds, there were, most breeds were bred to fulfill a function, whether it was to go hunting birds or other game, whether it was to be a guard dog, and of course some functions are no longer appropriate because history has changed. We don't want bear baiting dogs or bull baiting dogs. Yeah. The fit for function now, in my opinion, is very important. A dog must be fit to live, mm. to have a healthy life. Mm. It should be, breathe well, be able to move well, mm. healthy skin. They should be able to live as happy family companions. That's the first aim of every pedigree dog breeder, to breed healthy dogs which can live as family companions. So true. Thank you very much for joining us in the studio, Frank Kane. Thank you very much, Leif. Well, everyone, we're about halfway through our main ring programme here at the European Dog Show in Leistrum. So, as Leif said, we've got Group 7 coming up next, followed by Group 10. Then we have Best Norwegian Breed, the Yukonuba World Challenge Qualifying Event, Best Breeders Class, and the Veterans as well. So, plenty going on this afternoon. So, go and grab yourself a coffee and uh, settle in for this afternoon. Okay, so as I'm setting Leif straight, <laughs> we have group seven. So can I introduce your judge for you? He comes from Italy. In the 70s, he introduced German short-haired pointing dogs, German wire-haired pointing dogs, and German long-haired pointing dogs into Italy, and began judging in 1979. He has been a qualified all-breed judge since 2004 and has judged in Europe, Australia, South America and South Africa. He's also a member of the Judges Committee of the Italian Kennel Club. This judge has also written 10 books on dogs and is used to publishing articles in popular Italian dog magazines. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the main ring Claudio Di Giuliani. So, our first best of breed winner coming into the ring today is the English setter. The Gordon setter. The Irish red and white setter. The Irish Setter. The Italian Wirehead Pointing Dog. The Italian Spinoni. The Pointer. The Hungarian Wirehead Pointing Dog. The Hungarian short haired pointing dog, otherwise known as a Hungarian Vizsla.
the German short-haired pointer. The German wire-haired pointer. And the German long-haired pointer. The Weimarama. And the long-haired Weimarama. The small Munsterlander. The Brittany. The Bracco Italiano. The Ariège Pointing Dog. The Auvergne Pointing Dog. The Bourbonne Pointing Dog. The Drense Partridge Dog. The Pointing Griffon. The Bugos Pointing Dog. The Spaniel de Pont or de Mer. The Slovakian wirehead pointing dog. The Frisian pointing dog. And finally, completing our best of breed lineup, it's the old Danish pointing dog. So our judge, Mr. Giuliani, is going to take one final look and shortlist six breeds. So he's making some selections. We have the Weimarama, the Irish Setter, the Bracco Italiano, the English Pointer. So we have the Weimarama, the Bracco Italiano, the Hungarian Wiesla, the English Pointer, the Irish Setter, So this is the Weimarama. This is number one, that is 6779. It was judged today by Claudio, and there was 64 entries. The best of breed winning Weimarama.
number 6779. This is the Bracco Italiano, judged today by Hans van der Berg. This is number 6387. There were 38 of this breed judged today. Mr. Van der Berg chose this dog number 6387. Here we have the Drense Partridge dog. There were 10 entered here today at the European Dog Show. And this is number 6426. Judged today by our group judge, this is Claudio. He's obviously impressed with this one to put it into the shortlist in this group. This is number 6426, the Drense Partridge Dog. Next up in the shortlist is the Hungarian Vizsla. Or the Hungarian Shorthead Pointing Dog. This is another dog that uh, Claudio De Giuliani, our judge today in this group, put forward from the breed. There were 27 entered today, and this is number 6647. Put your hands together, please, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Hungarian Vizsla, number 6647. Now we have the English pointer. There were 20 entered today. The judge of the breed was Anne Karlstrom. This is number 6560. Ladies and gentlemen, your best of breed winning English pointer here at the European Dog Show. This is number 6560. And to complete our shortlist here, this is the Irish setter. There were 32 judged today by Petter Stein. And they chose number 6514 as their best of breed. That completes the lineup, ladies and gentlemen. The Irish setter, number 6514. I think our judge has made his decision. Who's it going to be? The Irish setter, the pointer, the Hungarian Vizsla, the Drense Partridge Dog, the Bracco Italiano, or the Weimarama.
So, ladies and gentlemen, in fourth position here at the European Dog Show, in group number seven, it's the Pointer! Number 6560. This is Vine Point Seaside No Autographs, please. <laughs> well, I'm afraid you're going to might get some now. Owned by Sanna Vatienen from Finland. Congratulations. Now into third position. This goes to the Irish Setter, number 6514. World winner 2014, Kamegen's Edge of Glory. Owned by Sjord Jobs from Sweden. And now into second position. Our judge, Mr. Giuliano, has chosen the Baracco Italiano, number 6387. Multi-champion Bice, owned by Manuel Francesconi from Italy. And so now, who is going to be the winner to go through to Best in Show tomorrow evening? The winner of Group 7 under Claudio De Giuliani is the Vimarama! Number 6779. American, Irish, UK champion, Doc and Camelot's Heaven Can. It's from Belgium. Congratulations. Can we please put your hands together for our two remaining semi finalists? The Drense Partridge Dog and the Hungarian Vizsla, who are best agreed in their own right today, so are going home with prizes. Congratulations. So can we ask our winners, one, two, three, and four, in a moment to do a lap of honor. Okay, all the dogs onto the ground, please. Take your prizes and do one more lap of honor in front of this lovely crowd at the European Dog Show. The winners of Group 7, the Vibarama. Number 2, the Bracco Italiano. In 3, the Irish Setter. And coming up in 4, the very happy English Pointer. Thank you so much to our judge, Claudio Di Giuliani.